I got a random phone call from uh, this gentleman uh, who invited me to come and fly in a factory built Vans RV 12 IS. So I dropped everything, headed to Renton, uh, and here is the plane already uh, pre flighted and uh, taxiing. Uh, ever since I visited the Vans uh, shop in um, Aurora, Oregon, uh, I really wanted to fly one of these contraptions. Uh, whether it was experimental or one of the factory builds, I don't think I really cared. I just really wanted to experience what it would be like. So here are my very fresh impressions after flying it yesterday. The plane definitely feels much more uh, of a home build, sort of um, a contraption, if you will, compared to the diamond they usually fly. And I know they can't really be compared. They're very different. Still, the Vance is also a factory built airplane, so I think it's maybe at least somewhat fair to compare the two. Both are stick, engines are quite different. I'm used to flying behind the Lycoming uh, IO360. The Vance has a Rotax 912IS uh, with full FADAC, so that was new and quite cool. Uh, so there's only one lever, you don't have to worry about leaning. And here we are smiling and wearing aviator sunglasses. So that was also awesome, the day was great, a little bumpy, and you definitely feel the bumps in this airplane. Wings are short, the whole thing is just much more compact. For two adults, the cabin is tight. I mean, there is no way around it, you're rubbing elbows, things are tight. But overall, the plane I thought was, was great. Uh, it's all aluminum, uh, unlike the diamond, which is composite. Uh, felt tight, I got to drive it a little bit. Uh, the stick is incredibly responsive and definitely feels like it has that experimental heritage to it. Uh, and overall, it was quite enjoyable. Uh, comes with Garmin uh, G3X, which is touchscreen, and that by itself was just super fun to experience after the usual G1000.